Repson Marjorie Taylor Greene sharply rebuked Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle for the glaring security lapse at the Donald Trump rally, questioning her competence and demanding her immediate resignation. Neutralize them. How were people in the crowd? Okay, then let's just take it this way. People under your command did not consider him to be a threat, yet people in the crowd knew he had a gun and considered him to be a threat. That means that you are a complete failure as the director of the Secret Service, that people under your command don't perceive a man laying on a roof with direct line to the president with a gun. They don't perceive that to be a threat, yet the people in the crowd do. How is that possible? I'm not certain at this time how the information from the people in the crowd was relayed to any law enforcement personnel. No, you knew that everyone knew. The people there knew that there was a danger. They knew there was a threat to President Trump. And it was allowed to happen. Was there a stand down order, Ms. Cheadle? Was there a conspiracy to kill President Trump? Absolutely not. Then how did this happen? And why are you still sitting here not turning in your letter of resignation? That is what we are investigating to determine. We're, we're waiting for your letter. We are waiting for your letter of resignation. And you, you really need to consider doing that before you leave. Leadership often hinges on competence and accountability. Green's call for Cheadle's resignation underscores the belief that public officials must answer for their failures, especially when public safety is compromised. The focus on identifying threats and taking decisive action aligns with conservative values of security and protection, particularly for high-profile figures like the president. Green's pointed questions and calls for resignation vividly reflect the conservative commitment to decisive action and holding public offices accountable for their shortcomings.